<laughs> That's okay. Um, so we're going to talk about some Python on hardware. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you wanted to talk about, because I, I queued this up, what did you want to talk about this week? Uh, so RP2350 is out. People are trying to play with it, which is great. Um, so there's a new Pi 5, a yeah. two by, and we did a new circuit Python release. We're going to do another 913 very soon. Um, okay. We're fixing a whole bunch of bugs. Um, yeah, the Funhouse build now works. But... Yeah, it was, it was a, it, because it uses dot stars and it has yeah. like SP, I don't know. Uh, fix this ESP32C6, some guides coming out shortly. Um, lots of RP2350 boards, and we're going to do some more, more and more fixes. Um, I love that uh, we already have a die shot of the RP2350 out. Um, yeah, that's cool. If people want to see the inside. That's like the, you know, the the deep uh, teardown, like a real teardown. A mm-hmm. um, lot of reviews. I like that people did projects with, they, they ran old projects from RP2040 here oh. um, on the 2350. Um, Mark and Todd, I guess they're, they're teaming up with the round displays. And um, they're like, oh, this thing from, you know, um, using it on the 2040 now, how does it work on the 2050? Mm. And they're like, oh, it's twice as fast. Which is about what I've noticed. It's like, even though they're both clocked at the same rate, because of the FPU, because the M33 processor sort of has like, you know, a better- I think the real world is project testing versus like benchmarks. Yeah, like, okay, like, the number is more, great. great. No, but it really is the benchmarks match what we expected, which is yeah. twice as fast. Um, so that's really good. We're seeing more people with um, twenty three fifty, and we are we got our twenty three fifty feather PCBs in. So hopefully we will okay. get that into the shops. So. Yeah. Um, and then one note, um, shout out to uh, Hackster. They did a Raspberry Pi Pico two for Circuit Python Day. Yeah, it was on Hack Chat. Hackster. That was really neat. Uh, David Groom from Make was there. Also, um, we just uh, chatted with Make. They're doing their board guide. I think there's going to be a bunch of cool Adafruit stuff in it. Yeah. We'll see. So very cool. Thank you, Make, for including us. And do check out the rest of the newsletter. I also like that this this uh, this um this plane airplane project on the oh, that's nice. Kind of cool. Yeah. Um. So you know, get this delivered to your inbox every single week. Adafruit Daily is where you get it. We don't spam. It's a completely separate website. It's important to us to have a place that is free and clear of ads and tracking and all that. Okay.